You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for the Tables, Ladders, and Chairs pay-per-view. Yeah, basically the main event and cruiserweight and women matches. That's that's it. Okay. That, that's it. I, I mean... This is a weird way of putting it. I guess. It's just... I don't know. It's a, it's a going to be a tough pay-per-view to sit through for the first couple hours. In terms of excitement. Fair. Well... Well, it's like all, there's nothing right on the line. Yeah, and also it's all building to one one thing, match. So there's one gimmick match, as far as we know, just the table ladders and chairs match. Yeah, in the main event. I still feel like there's a chance that they're gonna change the the Enzo and Kalisto. Yeah, tables match. Best way to do it. It would be nice if they did something with the women again. Ooh, a stairs match. Well, those things are too heavy. <laughs> Can't right, what him. was that? Who was that? Eric Rowan and Eric uh, Rowan against Dolph Ziggler. Yes, yeah, yeah. stairs match. Yeah, was, no, that's not right. Big Show and Eric. Big Rowan. Show and Eric Rowan. Yes. Yeah. No, and Luke Ziggler Harper and... fought Luke, uh, Luke Harper fought Ziggler with for in a ladder match. That was a really good match. It's true. Oh, Luke, Luke Harper, where art thou? Yeah. Well, I think we the know. Legend where we are. Brothers. Yeah, so dumb. Yeah. Well. So dumb. Yeah. So, I guess we're gonna get. A match in the pre-show along with a Drew Gulak PowerPoint presentation on, I think it was the Cruiserweight Championship, considering he has aligned himself with Enzo. I don't know if he's necessarily aligned himself with their allies. No, it's more like the team. Uh, Enzo's paying him. Yeah. With all his his monets. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Um, Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, on the pre-show we have uh, Alicia Fox versus Sasha Banks. This is a tough one to call. Why? Well, Sasha's gotten the best of Alicia two times in a row. Uh huh. You expect them to put uh, Alicia Fox over? No, but yeah, okay. But there's always that chance. Granted, Apollo Cruz <laughs> lost three times to Elias. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm surprised we didn't get this that match on this card again. I'm very surprised as well. Yeah. No club. What what is it's so it feels so weird. Well, because whoever did it put the main event in the third match. No, I'm not saying that what they did is weird. Oh, I'm just, just saying just the names. Oh, because <laughs> we haven't seen half of them on a I know. Uh, the pay per view. I'm telling you, man, it's just <sighs> weird. Alright, so I still don't know what the hell the order's gonna be. Alright, so It doesn't matter. Sasha Banks. Yes, no. Oh, yeah, Sasha's winning. Yeah, nothing on the line here more than building off of what happened last week. It's true. But I guess technically Alicia Fox did get the upper hand going into the pay-per-view. I guess. I well, all, re- all she really did was say that the referee is not her dad. <laughs> she did beat up She Sasha be- beat up back. that little man. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're picking Sasha too? Yes. All right. Um, so up next, we have another match. I would assume you're correct that the Cruiserweight tag team match is going to open the show. Yeah. Another match that normally wouldn't be on a pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Um, Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher versus Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander. Yes. Um, well, this makes no sense. I, I would assume the faces are going to win this, um, Swan and Alexander. Eh, it, it would make the most sense. But... Um, but the only thing is, like, Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher are doing, like, good good work together. So Wait, and good work gets rewarded? Well, I think it's more of they really don't care about the faces too much in 205 Live. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's kind of been, like, a little bit of a, like, just a trend. Yeah. So are you saying you're going to pick the heels? Um, I wouldn't be surprised for sure. Well, if you pick the heels, I'll pick the faces. All right. Let's do it that way. Very good. Because I don't think there's going to be much variety in many matches. No, because a lot of them are pretty straightforward. Yeah. 
All right. Um, so up next, because uh, this is an impossible pay per view to come up with an order for, um, I just wrote the uh, Brian. Uh, well, Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James. Yeah, I would assume the match before the main event will probably be the Oscar match. <sighs> I, I wouldn't go match before. It's probably going to be the. Well, they usually don't have a title. I guess because it's not a championship match. Yeah, there's only one championship. Yeah. There's two. The two. cruiserweight and, and the, the women's. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking that um, the women's. No, I'm thinking that it's going to be the cruiserweight match before the uh, before the main event. Sure, whatever. That, that would make sense to me. Sounds good. It doesn't um, matter anyway. That's true. Um, just I feel like the Oscar match they're going to put some more weight to. Yeah, I guess that's usually the. Um, so Alexa Bliss has been bullying Mickey James for the better part of the last month. Yes. Um. Do you think, and Mickey's been going on about how she's going to win her seventh Mm -hmm. uh, women's title. Do you think that she gets it, she holds on to it for a little bit, and then at Roadblock, which is the December Mm pay-per-view, it might not be theirs. It might be SmackDown, because it was Raw's last week, No, no, last year. No, I thought it was SmackDown's last year. No, it was Ross. It was what was it was the end of the line, remember? Because that's Sasha and Charlotte's last match. That's right. Um, But that was SmackDown's December pay per view. Last year? Yeah. It was TLC. Oh, okay. Because that's I guess yeah. Because the last one, Alexa Bliss won her. Yeah, a lot of things are in a very different order. Because Backlash was in September September, last year. That's right. That's when AJ won the title. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. So you, you you think that Mickey's gonna win? I'm the t- I'm thinking because I, I feel like this could be another Natalia where she's just a transitional champion. Yes, but not dropping it right away. Like we thought Natalia was gonna drop it to Charlotte at uh, the last pay per view. So yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I I think that maybe Mickey will hold it until December. Drop it to Oscar. Yeah, you think I- they're gonna put it right that quick on Oscar? Why not? Mm. And then she the, she'll eventually lose the title in a non like in a fatal five way or so or a four corners match whatever yeah. fatal four way because as of right now that they did the same thing with Charlotte mm-hmm. where they Booked pretty her so much strong. immediately yeah. put the, the title on her how many pay per views in a row did she uh... it was like th- oh for some reason I want to say thirty but that's yeah. definitely not no. true um, but it was like like a whole year, a year worth yeah so. So I, I think there's a good chance Mickey wins. Um, While I like your argument, I'm just going to be different and go against you and pick Alexa. All right. All right. So uh, up next, I picked <laughs> the Demon King versus Sister, Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail. As long as Bray Wyatt comes out in a dress, I'm sold. Um, that, that's that's all that happen. matters. That's all that matters. He's gonna come out looking even dirtier than normal. That's what he's gonna do. <laughs> gonna have his cheesecloth on and his widow's dress. You know, be looking like a funeral. Ah, uh, like and it funeral. will be the funeral for the fans because they uh, have to sit and watch this garbage. It's true. Uh, it's Poor Finn Balor, uh, the first Universal Champion. It's true. But, you know, he's going to get his title match eventually. He's eventually. not going to win, but he'll get it. No, I know. Uh, Enzo versus... Um, Police. So who won the last match? Finn, right? He's won every match so far. No, he didn't. He won every pay-per-view match so far. Uh, he won the Demon one. He right. won. He won. Oh, yeah, Bray beat him on Raw the week before yeah, SummerSlam. Yeah, which Summer doesn't Slam. matter. That's right. It was the, it was the it was... night after. He got a rematch. Oh, is that Finn what it was? Wasn't wearing the Demon Well, no, they game. fought first. I thought. Mm. I could have sworn they they said, "Why are we to the pay per view? We'll do it this week." Like when Neville lost the title to Tozawa on the Raw. No, I'm pretty sure. I know they had a match the night after SummerSlam, and Finn lost. Maybe that was. And it. that's why Bray said that you're nothing without the Demon. All right, maybe you're right. And then he won at um, at No Mercy. And now he needs to pull out all the stops, apparently. Well, if Bray Wyatt wins, it's not over. I know, but he <laughs> shouldn't win. So, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with uh, Finn Balor. Yeah, because there's no reason not to. No. Get again. We, we've, we've been, been wrong sin- before. Yeah, so, but I'm going to go with Balor. 
Um, all right, so this one's a very hard one. Asuka versus Emmer. 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 Emma. Emmer. Who's going to win? Um, hmm. Oh, you were seriously asking me who was going to win? I wanted to know. Oh. I want you to say something. Asuka. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's like literally no way. Because mm-hmm. A, they've been booking Emma so poorly. And she not, did win the match. I know, but it was like cheating ish. But they've been booking booking her not like bad, but like so pathetically. You know yeah. what I mean? Where she's like, her head's huge, mm-hmm. but she doesn't quite, you know, know. Well, that's kind of been her whole yeah. Thing. But I'm just saying that that's she's gonna be overzealous and then she's gonna get destroyed. Oh yeah, no, there's so. no chance that she wins this. So we're both going with Asuka. Very simple. Um, they should have done another House of Horrors match. Yeah, that would have. Uh, that might be what's coming <laughs> next. <laughs> oh man, I apologize if that's what happens. Yeah, because I've done this before. What just said dumb said things, dumb things and, and then it happens. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, Enzo and uh, versus. Kalisto, Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Championship. So you think Kalisto would become the new champion? That's possible. <laughs> he very well could. Um, So here's my thing. You put this into a stipulation, make it a tables match. Enzo wins. This will be the same way. Ele- That's how they really should have booked Enzo winning the title uh-huh. in like a match like that, like how Alexa Bliss won uh, her first championship. Well, like a fluke? Yes. Um. Because, Honestly, because there was no way anybody thought Enzo was going to win that match. I mean, granted, he the way cheated, they did it, yeah, exactly, which is fine. Um, I don't think he should have lost it when he did, though. Granted, that well, was that was plan, but yeah, you heard uh, Nia Jax, right? What she, I guess, on a leave of absence now. Did not know that. Yeah, apparently she. I, the rumors were that she had asked for her release and it wasn't granted, but she was given. Really? Yeah. Well, I figured that the only reason why she wasn't in the Fatal Five way was because she wasn't going to win. She was apparently supposed to wrestle Sasha at the pay-per-view. Ah. Uh, they threw Alicia Fox in there. Which, well, I guess that makes sense. fine because we've seen Nia Jax and Sasha Banks. A lot. A lot. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if that was even true that she was wanted yeah. her release, yeah. but, but she's definitely granted a leave of absence. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Um, anyway. Personal reasons, obviously. Well, I would assume so. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, we got uh, Enzo versus Kalisto. Who do you think is going to win? I think they're putting it all on Enzo. You think Enzo's going to get the title I back? I think so. All right. I, I actually have to agree. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I find it strange that they bothered putting the title on Kalisto to begin with. Um, but I think they're trying to build Enzo as like the... the, well, he, the it will new- be the first two times no neville won it back from Tazawa. yeah, yeah. um I, I think they're building uh enzo as like the top heel mm-hmm. so take he needs the title back with with brute force with uh that that would be another reason to have a stipulation mm-hmm. yeah this way there's no disqualification well, you could have even done a chairs match kalisa has experience he's had a ch- he had a chairs <laughs> match last year against baron corbin. corbin yeah so uh but yeah i don't know it the thing is, you're going to get the same thing at Enzo, whether he wins or loses. So. Oh, yeah, he's going to be the spotlight. Yeah. yeah. So You might yeah. as well put the title on him and not make it that the this is SmackDown all over. Yeah. And have your world champion not be your focus. Mm-hmm. It's true. I mean, with Brock, at least he's not there to be the focus, you know, mm-hmm. where Chinder is, you know. There, there but he's but not the main story. No. He's the 9 o'clock hour, and yeah. that's it. All right, so uh, up next we have the main event. Yeah, this is a toughie. Yeah, The Shield against The Miz, Seamus Cesaro, Braun Strowman, and Kane. Kane? <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, there's no reason they build to all this just for The Shield to lose. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, it's Shield. No there's, chance there's in no... hell. Well, I guess there's always a chance. But... Yeah, but there's no reason. The only, the only thing... Would be as if they, they did they did all this just to have them break up immediately. Yeah, and then it's pointless. You know, that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> they have long term plans for mm-hmm. Roman to to go on to win 
So what was it? Two years ago when uh, the Wyatts faced Kane and the Undertaker at Survivor Series, right? Yeah, it was at the twenty ninth Survivor Series because yeah. this is the thirty first. Yeah, yeah. So it was two years. Yeah, ago. it was it was the Undertaker's twenty fifth. Yeah. I think. I've heard rumors. What the Undertaker coming, coming back? back with Kane, the Brothers of Destruction versus the Shield. Why? I don't know. They not... did it two years ago. It was a mess then. Yeah, I, I know. <sighs> the Undertaker's less a hip. Well, in all fairness, there was... But who knows? Because I think Kane has his the election, I would assume. I don't know. Somewhat soon. But I remember there being rumors around SummerSlam of uh, Undertaker coming back too. So it right. could just be yeah, something happened just... that made people think that... He might have been seen outside of his house. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I saw him putting his socks on. And then Kane was actually on TV, so that means it has to happen. So that's probably what it was. Hopefully, at the very least. Breaking news. Not going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that was, uh, that was our predictions. Yep. So, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. So if you like, what? That's not much to it, then. uh, (laughs) It's going to be an interesting pay-per-view. Yeah, it's true. It's going to be a lot to, uh, so it's going to be a good main event. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. Be it'll, worth, be, it'll be it'll worth be worth sitting, watching. Yeah, um, which is a shame that we have to put it that way because it's not like it's such a thin card. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's none of these type of matches are built on any other pay per view, and you're going to put all of them on one yeah, pay per view. It's weird. Ex- yeah, it's weird. But again, there was such a long. Well, no, no you don't even have that long between it's now and Survivor three weeks. Series. Oh, yeah. you mean from then? It was three weeks yeah. since No Mercy. Yeah, that's true. So there was no build to this. And there's only one game. rematch from No Mercy, right? Yeah, it's just a no. Yeah, uh, Finn and Bray. Yeah, Finn and Bray, and that's it. Yeah. Because technically Seamus and Cesaro faced the uh, Dean, Dean and Seth, Seth but right. the the match is different, you mm-hmm. know. So but yeah, very thin card. Very yep. thin card. Yeah. But it potential for good matches nonetheless. It's true. So we'll see. Yep. So that was our predictions video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.